guys, welcome back to No Kitchen Name. It's me, Ella. Today is October 6th, and yeah, so it's Vlogtober Day 6th. <laughs> I took some clips earlier, but I don't know if they'll be before this or after it. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, today is a stressful day. It is after 5 p.m., and I had fully intended to vlog sooner today and to record a Watch Your Work on Wednesday video sooner today. I just recorded that. I'm going to edit it in a few minutes and get it up. <sighs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> so I had to go get Jesse from school yesterday because they suspected he might be getting pink eye. He was pretty much fine except his eyes were leaky. However, he did end up getting worse. <laughs> he laid around all day yesterday, uh, which is not like him. Like literally all day. He only got up to pee and um, he ate some chicken nuggets he asked me to cook him. <laughs> and that was it. He didn't want any snacks, which is not like him. And he didn't play a lot. He just laid on his bed and watched TV all day. So I knew he felt bad. And, uh, throughout the night, he started coughing a lot because of, you know, uh, drainage. So, he didn't sleep good, and I didn't sleep good because he's sick, you know. I'm not just going to leave him in there coughing. <laughs> but, um, so this morning I got up, I called the doctor right at 8 as soon as it opened, got him an appointment, but they didn't get him an appointment until 3 or one thirty this afternoon. <laughs> so, um, we stayed home, and, uh, I cooked some chicken and dumplings this morning for me to live off of for a few days because I love them. And Jesse's been laying around um, kind of seems like he has a little bit more energy than yesterday, but he still feels bad. Um, he complained about his stomach hurting. He's had to go to the bathroom quickly a few times. Um, both of his eyes are now leaky and gross. And, uh, he's draining a lot out of his nose. <laughs> and complaining of ear pain on the right side. So, we went to his doctor appointment in the rain, because downpouring all day. <laughs> and we had tornado, uh, watch out. In October which is crazy but um we actually got in the doctor super fast because his appointment was at 135 and we got there at like 120 something and we got into the doctor's room before his appointment time which is usually not right you know normally we have to wait in the waiting room forever but anyways um she came in there she was really nice I like her a lot she's a nurse practitioner I actually like her a lot more than the actual doctor that's there because he's kind of arrogant and I don't like him at all <laughs> so I always try to get um set up appointments with the nurse practitioners <laughs> instead of with the actual doctor because he's a butthead. Anyways, um, she checked out all, you know, everything and yes, he does have pink eye in both his eyes and he has Eric on the right side and she said if he starts running a fever to get him tested for COVID. But he hasn't had a fever yet. But, um, so she prescribed him some eye drops and some ear drops and some more antibiotics, which I hate him taking so many. He just got off antibiotics. <laughs> like, um, a week and a half ago for his other rake that he had um and yeah so i went to the pharmacy to pick them up and after insurance those three medicines came to 219 dollars <laughs> oh so there definitely will be some more bag updates coming up pretty soon because that we did not have 219 dollars to spend for medicine but i spent it anyways because i want him to get better until now i have to put eardrops in his ear twice a day eye drops in both of his eyes four times a day Plus, he has to take antibiotics twice a day. And then Tylenol as needed for the pain for his ear. She also told us to start giving him a daily allergy medicine. Which we luckily already have some of that. So, I'm going to start giving him that in the mornings. <sighs> it's stressful. Oh my god, it's stressful. <laughs> it's just annoying. I know he's getting sick from school. And it's just annoying. It annoys me so bad. That he has to go to school. Like, legally, you have to go to school. <laughs> But then he gets sick of school, so they send him home. So that makes him fall behind on his schoolwork. Makes our bills get higher because we have to pay to go to the doctor. We have to pay to get prescriptions. Ugh, it's just stressful. I'm stressed out today. <laughs> so uh, after we came home from the doctor, we I had to go pick up a Walmart order because I put in a little grocery order because we needed some more just little like house things. We need paper towels, um, some wet wipes, you know, things like that. Clean disinfecting wipes, just things like that. And I didn't want to have to go to the store. So we just put in an order and we picked it up, which I love. I love um, doing the pickups. And if our Walmart offered delivery, I would totally pay for that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so Jesse's in there right now. We came home, I gave him his antibiotic, his eye drops, and his ear drops. And uh, I had to give him some Tylenol in the car because he was hurting really bad. His ear was. So yeah, he's in there watching TV right now. Devin left for work. I just recorded a video. <laughs> I'm tired. It's been a long day. This morning I was a little productive. I did 
I put away the laundry I washed yesterday. <laughs> I managed to wash and dry it, and then I put it up today. And then I did wash a load of towels and dry them and fold them and put them up. Uh, what else did I do today? I made chicken and dumplings. <laughs> and I think that's about it. I wasn't super, I guess that's productive for me since I'm pregnant. I can use that as an excuse, right? <laughs> but now I'm tired and, um, I'm just, I'm just stressed out like crazy from all this doctor crap and him constantly getting sick. You know, he just got better, went to school, came back sick again. And I wish so bad parents would quit sending their sick kids to school and we'll just keep them home because then they wouldn't get other people's kids like my kids sick. I hate medical bills. <laughs> uh, that's the number one uh, cause of uh, bankruptcy is medical bills. Yeah, US. <laughs> I wish that we had uh, free health care like every other country. I don't even care if our taxes were higher because they're already high and they're going to go up anyways. <laughs> so, oh, it's just annoying. It'll be a lot better. Me and Devin was, you know, complaining the way couples do with each other, you know, we complain to each other about our problems. <laughs> We we're complaining about all this because it's so stressful right now but um it'll be better after the new year because i only have three more payments to the ob and the ob payments are pretty high every month <laughs> way more than because when i was pregnant with jesse i had government insurance because i wasn't married um so everything was free <laughs> yay but now that i'm married and we have crappy work insurance uh we have to pay for everything but i only have three more payments and they'll be, pay be paid off so the delivery will be paid for other than the epidural and the anesthesiologist bill, which I won't get until after they do that. Um, so then those funds that we've been sending to the OB can be going towards all this other stuff that's piling up. It's just annoying. <laughs> I told Devin, I was like, I need to work on designing some patterns or something because we need a little bit more income coming in with it being the stinking holidays. Any other year by now, I would already be practically done Christmas shopping. And I haven't even started other than Jesse because I, I buy him stuff all the time throughout the year. But, like, I haven't done any Christmas shopping for our other family members. And normally I'm, I'm done before Halloween. So, I'm just ugh, stressed out. It's just a, it's just a, this just last two years has just been. But anyways, on a happy note, I got another bag open. <laughs> it's got my man on there. Day six. I keep forgetting what day it is. If it wasn't for this and the little joke calendar we have in the kitchen, I would never remember the days. It is stressful sending a kid to school. Like I told Devin, if he keeps getting sick and being sent home, it would be cheaper for us to homeschool him. Because then he wouldn't be sent sick all the time. Because we never get sick. Hardly ever. I get sick more than Jesse and Devin do because I have a really crappy immune system, which I guess I passed on to Jesse because now he's sick all the time. <laughs> but it's like, when it's just us here at home, we don't get sick, you know. And I would like it to stay that way. Especially next year because then he's going to bring germs home from school sick. And then make the baby sick. And then it's going to be two doctor bills. Two medicines. It's just annoying. Okay. Yarn. Ooh. It's one of those little mini ones. I have a Christmas one. It's over there. I can see it. But it's a Red Heart Mini. And it's Halloween color. What's it called? Is it called Halloween? It's called Monster. I love it. These are like the, my favorite Halloween colors. You know, when you think of Halloween. It says it's a worst away. It seems thin. But I'm going to put it in my blanket anyways. <laughs> I don't care if it's a little dense and not dense <laughs> i don't care oh it's so pretty and then the goodie bag another kit kat Yay. i love those kit kats she got me addicted to them all right what do we got here today Woo! all right we got oh hey kit kat another lifesaver a green one and a starburst yellow uh spoiler or trick what, what am i saying Bonus, whatever. The yellow ones are my favorite. I love the pink ones too, but I love the yellow ones. Most people don't like the yellow ones, but I like them. And there's also a googly-eyed Frankie uh, sticker. There's a candy beside him. It's not a sticker, but you can make it into a sticker because it's on sticky paper. <laughs> that is so cute. That perked me up a little bit. I'm still a little bummed out though because I just hate. Like I mentioned the other day that I'm a budgeter, so I hate it when unexpected expenses pop up. You know, luckily we, we have money to cover them. It's just, then I always want to replace that money. You know, I'm, I'm that kind of person. <laughs> I like having my cushion and I like it to be full. I don't like having to use from it and then it not being there. It stresses me out. <laughs> but, um, I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I'm just bummed today. I can't be in a good mood every day. 
I'm not in a bad mood. I'm so happy. I'm still me. And I am thankful that I, we got his medicine. We had enough money to afford it and that he will get better. I just really hope that all these other people with their other kids will keep them at home when they're sick. You know, like me, he, you know, he was sick. I brought him home. He missed yesterday, today. He's going to miss tomorrow. And they, the doctor said he should be good enough Friday to go in, which is school picture day. So hopefully his eyes are not like puffy. Um, and then he's off all next week anyways. So maybe he'll have time to fully recu recuperate, you know, from the tiredness of being sick. <sighs> I don't know. It's just annoying. <sighs> School's not even halfway over and he's already out of excused absence days. Because he only gets four excused absence. And uh, he's he had two out the other day when he was sick the first time. And then today and tomorrow will be two. And yesterday was half a day because it was after lunch that they called me. So he'll have half a day of a tardy already. I don't think they should count against him when he gets sick at school. <sighs> Ugh, I just, I don't know wait. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to put this in my um, blanket here in a little bit. And I'm actually, I crocheted a lot today, this morning. Um, but I can't share any of the stuff that I crocheted with you guys until December. Because it's going to be part of Vlogmas. I'm working on it now because I'm a little worried. I mean, I feel like crocheting a lot in December. <laughs> because I'm already like exhausted pregnant and I'm not even super pregnant yet. I will be six months pregnant next Wednesday, though. Because today I'm 22 weeks. My leg is itching. I'm scratching it. <laughs> um, so next Wednesday I'll be 23 weeks, which is the first week of the sixth month of pregnancy. And then the week before Thanksgiving, 28 weeks, I will be uh, into the third trimester. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm just happy that I'm getting closer and closer to the safe point of pregnancy, which is 24 weeks. Um, just from my past history, you know, I'm still afraid of losses. So I'll feel a lot better once we hit 24 weeks. And then every week after that, I'll feel a lot better. Because <laughs> if anything does go wrong, she has a higher chance of surviving outside of me after 24 weeks. But anyways, yeah. So I'm going to go crochet. I'm probably going to eat that Kit Kat. <laughs> I'll just sneaky eat it because I don't want to. I'll share it with him. I will share my candy. <laughs> but um, he hasn't been hungry, uh, which is not like him because he's like me. He likes to snack. <laughs> But uh, he ate some tater tots earlier. I got him some food at Sonic because we had to wait for his prescriptions to get filled. I, got, I just got me a drink. And um, he ate the tots, but he didn't eat his corn dog. And he hasn't wanted any snacks. I was trying this morning to get him to eat muffins or anything, you know, just to eat. And um, he didn't want anything, which is not like him. Because <laughs> me, him, and Devin are eaters. We can eat. Um... But yeah, so I'm going to hop off here for right now. And I'll try to catch up with you guys later. I don't know. <laughs> it depends on how he feels and how I feel later. But I will insert a picture with my new yarn on my blanket. And uh, yeah. <laughs>